Hello YouTube, Killers Kills here bringing you another old school RuneScape video and this is episode 2 of the Achievement Diaries series and as, as you can tell from the title on screen it is the Varrock Easy Achievement Diaries so I'll be back with the requirements needed to complete all the easy tasks. So there is only two request requirements to complete this one and they are Rune Mysteries and the Dig Site Skills needed to complete all the easy tasks you need 15 mining, 13 agility, 8 crafting, 9 rune crafting, 20 fishing and 5 thieving and to be honest with you none of them stats are hard to get at all you could probably get all them in maybe an hour I don't know but it should be really quick to get all them and items needed to complete all the tasks any pickaxe, 150 GP, a normal log any wood cutting axe, bones soft clay, earth talisman or earth tiara, one rune essence or pure essence, fly fishing rod and feathers. So I will be back once I have completed the first task of this Varrock easy task achievement. The first thing you need to do to start off the easy Varrock achievement diaries is speak to Toby in the Varrock center where the water fountains are and basically just go through some of the dialogue I have a question about achievement diaries. Blah de blah. What is an achievement diary? Blah. Oh. And just go through all these. Oops. Go through all three options when you ask about achievement diaries just to make sure that it goes. Or you could just look at this and as it, if it turns yellow on there, it means you've basically started the um, achievement diaries. So. Let's just see what the first task is to do on the easy. Browse Felice, whatever that woman's called, store, which is literally just to the west of you in this little clothes store, what you can see on your mini map. Do -do -do -do. Basically, just trade her, and I think that should be that first task completed. Yes, well done, you have completed an easy task in Varrock. So I will be back. Task 2 is to have Aubrey teleport you to the essence mine so from the clothes store just run east towards the rune shop in the southeast side of Varrock just, and then you will see like this little red fire icon on the mini map this indicates it's a rune shop and then you just get Aubrey to teleport so right click and teleport like so boom and he says all this dodgy writing. For task 3, you are required to mine some iron ore at the southeast Varrock mining area. And if you have done the essence mine, you can just use the portal, which will take you out to where my cursor is moving on the screen now. And then you run um, northeast towards the Varrock entrance, and then run all the way south until you get to this mining patch right here. Then you mine some iron ore, which will look like so. I'm going to dismiss this dude and then basically what you do is just mine it so you do need a pickaxe for this obviously and that will be task 3 completed I will be back for task 4 make sure you do have a normal log and a hundred GP on you and run all the way north to the sawmill from the southeast mining area in Varrock which you should just be at to complete task 3 anyway so just keep running north like so Hello, sir. And then just keep going and going and going and going and going. You will eventually get there. Do do do, like so. And then just trade the sawmill, dude. Trade him. Not trade him. Don't trade him. Buy plank. Of so for task five of this. Um, easy task diaries you want to enter the second level of the stronghold of surety so the fastest way to do that would be to go to Edgeville and I'm nowhere near Edgeville but I'm gonna have to at least run to a bank or well, I can I'm just gonna use the my home teleport and go through there like that with my glory so I don't have a glory mounted in my house which does is, is a massive help to be fair so go to Edgeville and you can run south I think it's south from Edgeville but I'm pretty sure it's south 
Yep, just run south from when you spawn at Edgeville. Do -do -do. <laughs> if you've already done the Stronghold of Scorpio before, gone through and got the 10k cash and the rainbow boots or the fighting boots, I think they are called, then you can just go straight to level 2 by using the portal. I think this will work. Obviously, I will show you in the video, and if it does work, you can just do the same thing. So, do do do, let's get there and climb down the entrance at the in the middle of Barbarian Village and use the portal. I thought the portal wasn't there, then I couldn't see it. Right, use the portal, and that should be that task completed. You enter the portal. I oh, know, because obviously, then you'll have to go down the stairs, won't you? So, um, go down the stairs. And that should be a task completed. Yep, that's task 5 completed, so I'll be back with task 6. For task 6, you are required to jump over the fence south of Varrock. I'm going to show you where to go on the map. So, if you go to Varrock here, and it's telling you to jump over the fence south. So, say you are in Varrock Centre, run south towards this wheat patch, and then follow the path like so where my cursor is going and then jump over this fence here I will be back once I get to the actual fence but that is how you actually get there so be right back so as you can see I have arrived at the fence and all you have to do is simply jump over and it will do this like little animation thing like wee and that's task 6 completed I will be back with task number 7 so task 7 of the video requires you to go to the lumber yard and chop down a dead tree so basically just make your way from the fence what you've just jumped over and go east until you get to this quest icon and then just follow the path round or just head north north east ish and you'll come to the um, mining area where you've already been to do it within these tasks so yeah just keep running north until you reach the um, lumber yard do 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 do, do 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 Why is this such a long run? It's not really. I swear I've already done this before. <laughs> oh, it's the museum guy again. So yeah, once you actually get there, there'll be like a gap in the fence where you can get through or jump over, I think, and then simply just drop chop down a dead tree in there like so but you're obviously gonna have to find it first dying tree just chop one of them oh there's one right there didn't even see that one in, right in front of my face chop chop and that's task 7 completed I will be back with task 8 for task 8 make your way to Varrock Center so basically you can either teleport to Varrock or you can just run there from the sawmill and for this task you do need to buy a newspaper and I'm sure it's from one of these blokes around here um, so yeah oh yeah so you talk to Benny and then you go can I have a newspaper please and this will cost you 50 gold pieces so do make sure you have got some cash on you sure here you go and that's another task completed I will be back with the next task so I am back with task 9 I'm from Varrock Centre you basically want to run all the way west to the western entrance of Varrock because for this task you do need to give a dog a bone and I'm pretty sure that there is a dog around here somewhere uh, there, there it is if you just look around this area it should be around here somewhere because yeah it just should be and you give the dog a bone it happily now gnaws on them well done you have completed another task so I'll be back with task 10 so for task 10 you are going to need your soft clay Cut and then head west towards Barbarian Village and you're going to spin a bowl on the pottery wheel and I'll show you which um, building that is so once you've crossed the bridge at Barbarian Village so um, just keep going and you will become you will get to Barbarian Village and then it's the first building on your left if you are well if you're looking north it's the first building on your south and you will see pottery wheels and you do have to make a bowl 
I'm pretty sure it's a bolt, spin a bowl on the pottery wheel and fire it. So use your clay on the wheel and use a bowl, or make a bowl should I say, and then use your bowl on the pottery oven. And that is another task completed. I will be back with task 11. So for task 11, <coughs> you want to make your way to the museum in um, East Varrock and you want to get at least um, 50 kudos. You can do this by doing a number of things like inspecting dirt, finding stuff and then putting them in the cases, um, studying and answering questions on the animals and stuff downstairs and then once you have got 50 plus you just talk to creator Haig Hallen and then um, basically just go through the dialogue because it says to talk to this guy and then once you do that should be another task completed so yeah that is it let me just check to confirm that it is completed because I don't actually know Yep, that's that completed, so I'll be back with the next task. Task 12 requires you to craft some earth runes. Well, just craft an earth rune. So if you run from Varrock Centre, which is right here where my mouse is moving, then you just run east, and then north, and follow the path till you get to this, like, let's say, muddy path, and then the altar will be right there. You should be able to see it in the trees. Um, <coughs> you will need an earth talisman or tiara, and a PRS or Runes, it doesn't really matter which and you've used your earth talisman on the ruins and it will teleport you into a place looking like this and then you just craft a rune and that is another task completed task 13 and what you're gonna do is just teleport back to Varrock and head towards the rune shop um, you can go to the east bank and run from there so I'll just show you how to do it anyway just basically run easterly boom 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 ba -dum, boom um, and you will come across the East Varrock Bank and once you've passed the bank basically just run south following this little dirt road you can see and in the corner there will be a tea stall just go ahead and feed that and that is another task complete. I'll be back with the final task of the Varrock Easy Achievement Diaries. The final task of the Varrock Easy Achievement Diaries requires you to fish a trout at the Barbarian Village fishing spots. So what you do need is a fly fishing rod and some feathers. And basically just wait until you get a trout. Could take seconds, could take ten. I don't know. And there we go, we got a salmon. <laughs> smug me off by getting a salmon first um, and I got two salmon in a row there's the trout that's all the easy tasks completed so yeah I will be back in just a second to showcase the reward so once you have completed all the easy Varrock diaries you basically just go back to Varrock Centre where the water fountains are and talk to Toby after going through a bit of dialogue he will give you a Varrock Armour 1 and a ta antique lamp just keep watching for the next clip this will showcase the rewards in more detail so where are the rewards in more detail so the Ant antique lamp grants 2.5k xp in any skill above 30 the varrock armor allows you to buy 15 battle staves from zaf a day for 7k gp access to the edgeville furnace 10 percent chance of mining two ores at once up to coal 10 percent chance of making two bars at once up to steel when using the Edgeville furnace so all in all the rewards are quite good to be fair so yeah I'd like to say thanks for watching and as always goodbye my friends <laughs>